employers who are monitoring uh, their employee communications need to keep a, a close focus uh, on the business-related communications of their employees. That the, the law recognizes um, that that's where their justifiable interest is. It's, um, it's a different story uh, when that crosses over into uh, personal communications that uh, employees have while they're in the workplace. I think one of the most important things when an organization is thinking about rolling out workplace monitoring tools uh, is to recognize that laws differ around the world and that there are different international considerations to come in play where there are cultural variations in what uh, privacy means um, in different places and in many areas of the world if a worker doesn't know what you're doing and hasn't agreed to it in advance, you may very well not be able to roll out such a solution. It's really important for a company to, first of all, understand the law, second of all, to implement the appropriate policy, and then third, implement the practices that support that policy. Especially with employees now using all kinds of different media, social media, web mail, um, other kinds of technology. It's very risky for employees to uh, to use uh, their own personal uh, mobile devices uh, for business-related work because uh, em employers have all kinds of reasons and are under very serious legal obligations. The reality of the modern workplace is that personal devices and mobile devices are used. And so if you ask most managers, uh, would they rather have productive employees um, or not have them have access to using working at home and working on a mobile basis, the trade-off uh, is very clear in terms of productivity, but the reality of balancing those productivity gains with uh, attendant legal obligations can be very difficult. What happens is you have people who are trying to provide services or to meet consumer expectations, but they're sending things to their Gmail accounts, they're downloading stuff onto their Blackberries, and they're causing all kinds of privacy and security risks by doing that. Frankly, uh, it's tough to uh, navigate that boundary between when we're at work and when we're not at work, and it's a difficult issue that many companies are struggling with.